Roughly 20% of U.S. energy-related greenhouse gas emissions stem from heating, cooling, and powering households. If you look at New York State's emissions, there are more emissions from heating fuels than from electricity generation. Dandelion Energy is a geothermal heating and cooling company, and we focus on taking furnaces and boilers out of homes and replacing them with renewable geothermal heating and cooling systems. I grew up in Durham, New Hampshire, and it was a fantastic place to grow up. I spent a lot of time wandering around the woods and the estuaries around my house. I was given a lot of freedom to just explore, so I really got to spend so much time just having fun in nature. It wasn't until I became a bit older, maybe in high school, that I really started to become more aware of environmental degradation rather than climate change. I remember learning a lot about things like the hole in the ozone layer or acid rain. I think the ozone hole and acid rain in some ways were practice problems for the climate crisis that we encounter now. I started Dandelion while I was working as a product manager at Google X. And my job at that time was to find new technologies that X could develop that would have a positive impact. And geothermal heat pumps in particular really caught me. Geothermal just means ground heat. Heat pumps are a way of using electricity to move heat from one place to another. In general, as you go deep into the ground, you get to a temperature that's anywhere from 40 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on where you are. Geothermal systems are a way of harvesting that renewable heat that's just in the ground and making use of it to heat your home. For every one unit of electricity you put into the system, you're gathering four units of renewable free heat from the ground, and that makes this system extremely efficient and extremely cost effective. The issue is that as a consumer, it was not easy to go out and figure out how you would actually get this thing in your house. First, to install the geothermal system, we put in what are called ground loops. And those are plastic pipes that we typically put vertically into the yard, anywhere from 300 to 500 feet deep. And then we connect those pipes into the home to a heat pump, which is essentially a metal box that sits where the furnace used to be. And that heat pump is pumping water through those pipes, and that water is absorbing heat from the ground. And then the heat pump extracts that heat, boosts its temperature, and then distributes it throughout the home using ductwork. One of the challenging parts of starting a geothermal heating and cooling company is that we had to actually do a bunch of things in order to make this product much easier and less expensive for homeowners to adopt. We've added financing so you can pay for your system over time. We've invested in drilling suites of equipment that are much smaller and easier to fit into residential yards. Replacing a typical furnace with a dandelion geothermal system will reduce that home's CO2 emissions by over eight tons a year. So over the system's lifetime, that's removing 40 cars from the road, it's probably the most significant thing that homeowner could do to reduce their carbon emissions. My name is Kathy Hanoon, and I'm the founder and president at Dandelion Energy.